My name is Angela Dee, I'm 38 years old and I'm an engineering technician for Royal Mail. I'm currently a shift engineer, so that means I rotate across all three shifts, working on all the different sorting equipment that we have at Royal Mail. That includes electrical, electronic, mechanical, software, testing, all sorts of different aspects of being a technician. I got into engineering as a career down to my careers teacher at school. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my, with my life, um, I just know I didn't want a, a typical girly job. And he advised me to go for a work experience in an engineering company and that was me hooked really. I've done a three year apprenticeship with Royal Mail. That took me through my uh, MVQ Level 3 uh, HNC on day release at college. I've worked as a shift engineer for Royal Mail. I've worked as a team leader uh, in charge of a group of engineering technicians. I'm currently on project work uh, for Royal Mail as well. I registered for my engineer status around 18 months ago. I wanted to uh, prove to people that although I got my qualifications quite a while ago, that I was still a competent, skilled engineer and I wanted the professional status to prove that. Uh, Royal Mail is completely behind the EngTech qualification. They're pushing all of us to achieve the, the same status, so we're a, a professionally qualified company, really. Having the EngTech qualification uh, proves to other people that I'm qualified, I'm competent, and I'm skilled at what I do. I'm hoping to use my EngTech status in my future career development. I'm hoping to move into project management and engineering management, and I'm hoping that that EngTech status can, that can prove to people that I am competent at what I do and I'm, I'm professional.